today we're still having difficulties with the issue as women are still marginalized and only stereotypically allowed to play certain sports that express feminine characteristics. If we are following the law, women should be allowed to play any sport they want, and in reality, some are still being told they cannot. There is no 1500 meter freestyle for women. In water polo, 12 men's teams compete, only 8 women's teams do. In kayak events, women have shorter distances, half as many events, and in canoe, do not race at all. In sailing, there are 6 events for, women, for men, 4 for women. There are fewer women's events in wrestling and rowing. Fewer women's teams in soccer. This list is not exhaustive. I'm like, I just made history and people are focused on my hair. It can be bald or short, it doesn't matter about my hair. I don't even wear mini skirts in, on a night out, so I definitely won't be wearing mini skirts in the rain. Sex, size, and money, the three reasons men and women rarely face one another in a sports arena. Sexism, prejudice, and stodginess, the three reasons things won't change even if they could. Women's sports were underreported and underrepresented in six weeks of television sports news sampled in the study. Men's sports received 92% of airtime, women's sports 5%, and gender neutral topics 3%. Women athletes frequently were referred to as girls and young ladies. Men athletes, never referred to as boys, usually were called men, young men, and young felt. Ratings show that women enjoy watching men more than women enjoy watching women. Add those female viewers to the majority of men who also gravitate to male athletics, and it becomes a no-brainer. When it comes to sports, men sell. Men's major tennis tournaments incorporate five set matches instead of three. Why? Men's tennis draws more viewers than women, largely due to the speed of men's game. Do as well to Roger Federer, Federer who like Tiger Woods of two years ago, attracts viewers through his sheer dominance of the sport. According to the Women's Sports Foundation, male athletes get $179 million more in athletic scholarships each year than females do. <laughs> Additionally, collegiate institutions spend just 24% of their athletic operating budgets on female sports, as well as just 16% of recruiting budgets and 33% of scholarship budgets on female athletes. Women's sports also tend to be verbally and visually set apart, such as in the name of the Women's National Basketball Association. In men's sports, gender is almost never mentioned. In a study of four major newspapers, USA Today, the Boston Globe, the Orange County Register, and the Dallas County News, women's only sports total about 3.5% of all sports stories. Four guys aren't allowed to wear shorts. The women of the LPGA are permitted skirts and shorts. One explanation for that may be organizers and sponsors hope more legs will translate to more viewers. It's no secret that beautiful athletes, both male and female, are more likely to be chosen as spokespeople for their sport. 